I've been able to successfully exchange routes between a GNS3 router and a physical router. And I've also been able to telnet into my GNS3 network from a physical device. Just to make the point, this is my local Mac, ping 192.168.10.4. I can ping the GNS3 router and I can telnet to the GNS3 router. So I'm telnetting to the GNS3 router from my local Mac. The GNS3 router is hosted within a VMware, within the GNS3 VM on my Windows 7 PC connected to my physical network and I'm able to telnet to the GNS3 router from my Mac. So let's configure the rest of the GNS3 network. This is router two. Here's router one. So on interface fast ethernet zero zero, I'll no shut to the interface and give it an IP address of 10111. I'll do something similar on router 2. No shut it. IP address 10112 slash 24 mask. I'll enable OSPF on all interfaces in area 0. So show IP route. At the moment, the router hasn't learnt about any routes. Show IP OSPF interface. And let's do a brief. OSPF is running on fast ethernet 00, zero on router two. On router one, show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is running on fast ethernet 00, zero. State is now designated router. Let's confirm that we can ping from one side to the other. Yes, we can. Show IP OSPF neighbor. Neighbor relationship has just come up. So notice the message loading to full. We've got a neighbor relationship to the neighboring router. Show IP route now shows us the various OSPF routes. So enable password Cisco line VTY 04 login password Cisco. I'll go back to my Mac and Telnet to 10.1.1.2. Now that may not work because of duplicate routes in this network. Let's confirm firstly that this router can ping google.com. At the moment it can't. So IP domain lookup. Can we ping google.com? Notice it doesn't have a DNS server configured. So let's say IP name server, and I'll set it to Google. Try again. It's not able to get to google.com. Let's confirm that it can get to the physical Cisco router. At the moment it can't. So I've got some kind of routing problem here. So on the physical Cisco router, show IP route. Notice there is a duplicate IP address, so show run pipe begin face. This router already has 10.1.1.1 configured onto that interface, so, so what I'll do is remove that off the gigabit interface, so no IP address 10.1.1.249. So I'll remove that secondary IP address show IP route. It's now learning about network 10.1.1.0 via gigabit 00.10, so ping 10111. That looks better. Ping 10.1.1.2. That looks better on my Mac. I can now telnet to router 2. So show IP interface brief. This is my GNS3 router. Show version shows me that this is a Cisco 3725 router. And again, just to make the point, I'll change the host name to GNS3 router 2. And within GNS3, notice the router name has changed. So I've successfully got this network to talk to my physical network. I've exchanged routes through OSPF. 
I can telnet to both routers in the topology. I've successfully integrated GNS3 with my physical network. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.